Pizza Pie Alley. Allie, I need you, was yelled down the hall, so Allie tiptoed in her room. Everyone needed her lately, it seems, and Allie was starting to fume. Come help me with dinner, her mom nicely asked, while sticking her head through the door. Allie smiled sweetly and nodded her head, asking mom for just five minutes more. She had an idea and turned on her computer to browse for a picture or two. She knew what she wanted and thought of a way to achieve it. Her bright idea grew. She printed out pages and cutting them out, she looked for some tape and a stool. She put a few hints in the kitchen and then Mom would know what was up. This was cool. Mom walked in the kitchen completely amazed at the job that her daughter had done. Pictures of pizza all over the place were taped up and quite neatly hung. Allie, meanwhile, had slipped out the door and was laughing and skipping along. Nose high in the air, she just couldn't resist, for the pizza aroma was strong. Mr. Luigi's was just down the street, and Allie was there in a flash. Smelling the pizza, her hunger pangs grew, and Allie was ready with cash. She watched, mesmerized, as he tossed up the dough while catching and stretching it out. The process intense, Allie got quite involved, and she clapped first, then started to shout. The telephone rang, and he put down the dough while his face went from smiling to frown. Allie, I need you. My wife needs a ride. Her little brown car just broke down. Grabbing his coat, he rushed out the door, leaving Allie in charge of the place. She put on an apron and, looking around, had a confident look on her face. First, Allie thought, I'll finish the dough. How easy this tossing must be. She threw the dough up in the air much too high. It caught on the fan, flying free. It swirled round and round, and then easing a bit off the fan blade, it quickly grew large. It sailed through the air and then splat on a man who demanded to know, Who's in charge? She tried not to laugh, and she answered him quick, I am, sir. I'll make you a pie. You already did. Just look at this mess all over my face in one eye. She helped him clean up and then tried once again. Luigi had made it look simple. Tossing the dough up, she caught it this time, but it stretched and was covered with dimples. Thinking and pondering, there must be a way to make this dough round and not drape. Using her elbow, she wriggled around, but she just couldn't make the right shape. She leaned on the dough, and it squished through her hand. It felt light and gooey and good. Lifting her fingers up one at a time, she pressed the best shape that she could. It needs to have sauce. Allie looked in the pot that was just cooling down on a tray. She knew that a mixer would get the lumps out. She didn't know it wouldn't stay. Walls thickly coated with sauce, Allie froze. It dripped from her face in one ear. She smiled, and with one big fat finger, she wrote, Get your Allie Pie special right here. The veggies were calling. Her hunger had spread to all of her insides real fast. Let's get this thing cooking, was Allie's next thought, making this pizza's a blast. Her hands were too large to get into the dishes that held all the veggies just right. She just couldn't grab all the thin veggie strips that would soon disappear with each bite. Taking the bowls, Allie turned each one over and emptied the contents all out. She made a big pile and thought this was the best. I know just what pizza's about. Using both hands digging into the mountain of veggies she'd piled on the tray, she rubbed them together, just gently of course. Fresh veggies were soon on their way. Thinking to make it her signature dish, Ali found more things deep in a drawer. She tossed in some this and then sprinkled some that. Then she looked all around for some more. One hand was stirring, the other one chopped. She looked through the spices galore. She must make a pizza her family would love, a pizza they'd all just adore. She sauteed minced veggies with sausage and then she spread it all over the dough. With sauce liberally on, lots of cheeses were next. She backed up, deciding to throw. Ooh. Pizza perfection was Allie's first thought as she gazed at her newfound concoction. This pizza's so good, 
I bet you could sell it real fast at our yearly school auction. The door opened up and a kid strutted in. He plunked all his change on the counter. Please, will you bake me my own pizza pie? Any kind's good, doesn't matter. Allie just looked. Now what does she do? A customer she didn't count on. Hey, that looks good. I'll take one like that. And quickly, her pizza was gone. Mr. Luigi returned and his eyes opened wide as he set the first foot in the door. When he'd left oh, the no. place, it was sparkling clean, not covered from ceiling to floor. Allie just stood there grinning her grin while he kind of stumbled inside. What would he do? Where could he go? The shop is destroyed, he implied. The phone rang again and he was surprised by the name of the customer's request. Pizza Pie Alley, the customer stated, it's not on your menu or list. The bell on the door started ringing quite loudly as customers poured through the door. Pizza Pie Alley was the only request and quickly she had to make more. Mr. Luigi stepped into the back just as the next pizza was done. He helped Allie box it and thanked her again for the wonderful job she had done. She started to giggle and then opened up the pizza box that they had closed. Let's try a big piece, first you and then me. I bet you that I eat the most. <laughs>